Hey guys, so Jaden from Lazy Gaming. In this video, I will be reviewing the AUG A3 Assault Rifle in Battlefield Hardline for the Betrayal DLC. Before you end this video, just like I say, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below for much more content on everything in the Betrayal DLC. I actually got some pretty good gameplay with this weapon, even though overall I think it is not a great weapon. But uh, we'll get into that later in the video. So this weapon does 25 max damage out until 25 meters and 12 minimum damage at 50 meters. This means that up close it's a 4 shot kill and at range it's a 9 shot kill which for an assault rifle is basically just absolutely terrible. It has a 700 rounds per minute rate of fire which is average for assault rifles, uh, maybe even a bit slow. It has a 2.5 second reload and a 3.1 second empty reload, uh, both pretty slow for the class and a below average 580 meters per second muzzle velocity. It's really the only reason why I'd ever use this weapon is just because it's pretty low recoil and in, in medium range, really around 20 meters, it's useful. However, it's just outclassed by the M16 and a bunch of other weapons. I mean, I don't really see any purpose to use this weapon. It um, is extremely similar to the AUG Para in that it has a terrible uh, damage, it's just absolutely terrible damage for both their classes. And it kind of sucks because the AUG A3 in Battlefield 4 was a pretty good weapon. And if this weapon did maybe 18 damage at range, it would be a completely different story. But the fact that you get a 12 shot kill at your maximum range is just absolutely terrible. And excuse me, it's not a 12 shot kill, it's just, just 12 damage, it's a 9 shot kill. And um, ultimately there aren't really any factors in this weapon that redeem it. I mean, the only thing I can think of is first off that, again this weapon is accurate and when you put extended mags on it, it increases the clip size from 31 rounds up to 41 which is that's pretty awesome actually it's pretty awesome to have a 41 round um, magazine assault rifle and actually I just sort of like how the weapon looks and uh, just the nostalgic feeling of going back and using a battlefield 4 weapon is pretty fun but I mean again other than that there aren't too many reasons to use this weapon at all if you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to drop a subscribe button some of the gameplay I used in this video I did use in another video but I just want to show you some of the strengths of this gun uh, not to mention that it does have the above average definitely above average hip fire in close quarters and again if you want to mow down a ton of enemies off a blood money pile like you see right here that's not necessarily the weapon itself but it's just more a strategic maneuvering that I used on this Chinatown blood money pile uh, tell me down below in the comments what weapon you'd like me to review in the Betrayal DLC or videos you'd like to see. I probably won't post them for a while because I do go on a trip where I won't be at a computer, really have internet for eight days. So again, I won't be replying to comments. I'm not really sure when I'm going to post this. Currently it's March 9th, which is my birthday. But yeah, not really sure when I'm going to post this, whether it'll be March 20th or whether it'll be like March 11th or 12th. But again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.